Hey, what is up, guys? It is the Fat Tree bringing us another video. Hope you guys are doing great day so far today. And real quick, before we start these tutorial videos or anything that we do on this channel, we're going to talk about selecting a main character. This is a question I get a lot, and I have some friends to help me here explain how they got their main characters, and I'm going to explain how I got mine. Uh, we have Crucial Menace, aka Marcy. What's up? What's up, guys? Yeah, clear your throat, man. I understand. I understand. All right. And, <laughs> and we have also Soul, aka Shadow. Say what's up, man. To keep it together. What's up, people? <laughs> so anyway, uh, so real quick, we're gonna have them explain how they got to their main characters, and then I'll explain mine, and then we'll give you guys we'll, we'll give you guys some type of advice on selecting a main character, and just we'll keep it 100 with you guys as they call it. So, uh, crucial, you can go first. And just explain how you got to your main character. Okay, nah. Nah, I got my main character because of my brother because he also mains Harang, so so that so that's why I play him a lot. Mm -hmm. And I mean that's that's pretty much it for just now, that. Yeah, so I know you play Leo and Shaheen. Is there like a particular reason why? Anything? Just think they're cool. Mm, with Leo, cause it's because of uh, because of tag two. When I play Leo, I started playing Leo with Harang as my tag team. Oh, so okay, that's okay. why I play Leo. All right, makes sense. Makes sense. All right, so uh, souls or shadow, uh, bring oh. in your statement. So, I started out playing King because I had I really had no interest in wrestling at the moment, which is the weirdest part. I just mm -hmm. played him because it was fun, and I liked his move set, and he felt the most natural to me when the game came out. However, mm -hmm. I switched to Eliza shortly after because, first of all, I liked the way she looked. Um, I liked mm -hmm. the black and red color scheme of her and the horns and all that shit so mm -hmm. she personally appealed to me and um she was really fun and she had something that i really liked which was a dive kick and i love dive kick characters but most importantly though she was fun and yeah glad you said that glad you said it. so uh for me uh it, it kind of took me a while to get good at this game as they call it and i was kind of going through a lot of characters like i went to brian i went through fang for a while, uh, I played Kazir for a while. That was pretty much the first character I actually played in this game because I knew nothing from, you know, uh, Tekken 6. And then I went to Tag 2. I played uh, Jin and Kazir as my main characters. And when I came to Tekken 7, yeah, Kazir felt really good to play. But then, like, I didn't feel comfortable. And that's my number one rule when I'm playing is I want to feel comfortable while playing the character. So I immediately floated over to playing King as well as he felt very, very fun to play. I like his costumes. I mean, dude looks freaking sick. And he's a wrestler. I like wrestling. My dad also plays King as well. That's another reason why. So pretty much it's just like, you know, the background things that make you float to a character and also because they are really, really fun to play. So my advice to you as a viewer who's watching the channel who's enjoying our very sexy, uh, sexy masculine voices, uh, just oh, play boy. for fun. Play for fun. <laughs> play for fun. All right. Play a character for fun. Uh, Never force yourself to play a character ever. Like, if you're not liking how the character feels in practice mode or any sort of, like, you know, the costumes, if you're not enjoying, if you're not liking the costumes, I mean, that's my thing. I like costumes. But uh, if you're not liking the way they look and you're not liking the moveset that they're giving you or providing you, switch characters immediately. You know, find somebody that's for you, that's your play style. Uh, any advice, guys? Go ahead. You guys can. Oh, go one ahead. big piece of advice, and I'm surprised you didn't mention it. Don't. I'm going to. I come to your house and slap every one of you that do this. <laughs> Don't worry about if what tier they are. Yep. You do not. Exactly. That's, that's number one mistake. A lot of pros will tell you to, you know, pick a character that's easy or, you know, pick a character. I've heard some say something about tier list. Don't listen to them. Don't listen to a character. You know, if you pick a hard character, play the hard character. If you pick a character that's low tier, play the character that's low tier. I mean, I play, like I said, I play Eliza, a low tier character, and she's not easy to play. Mm -hmm. um, MKX, I mean, MK11. I play Shao Kahn. He's a low tier character. I mm -hmm. do just fine with him. Do not worry about ex execution or tiers of a character. Exactly, exactly. And Marsh, any advice, sir? Well, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, you know, if you if you don't try to go for a hard like a hard character, but just just make sure that that you know the weaknesses. Like example, mm -hmm. like when I play Harang, I know that, like his main weaknesses is like sidestepping like, like mm -hmm. that's his major weakness yep Makes so sense. just be aware of that exactly exactly oh, yeah, yeah. you got to be aware of the character flaws when you play them, exactly exactly so i mean it, it's hard when it comes to picking a main character because you gotta really play the game through them 
Like, I really learned how to play this game because I played King and I stuck to him for a good while. I played nobody but King for a good while and I learned the game through him. So when I moved to other characters, this is why I played the whole entire roster. This is why uh, Crucial somewhat plays all the characters as well. And uh, Souls plays most of the characters as well because we sit here, we play the game through one character. And then we'll try to move it to another character, but you always have to change your playstyle with these characters. And it's a lot. Yeah. A lot of characters. Like Main Man said, character bloating. 45, yeah. It's a lot of characters, man. So. Yeah, but it's easier in this game because unlike a 2D game, you like you don't have to worry about, okay, this character is a zoner, so I have to mm. play them entirely different. Or, you, mm -hmm. know, you know, grapplers, I got to play them entirely different. A lot of the characters... They all have their little sudden nuances to each other, but a lot of them do play similar. Exactly, exactly. I like that. Thank you, thank you for explaining that as well. That's why Nii, that's why somebody like Nii is able to play every character, because he knows how to play the game itself. Exactly. That, that's my number yeah. one rule, too. Fundamentals. Because a lot of players think that, you know, I play this character, should I, be, I should be able to do this and that, blah, blah, blah. No, 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 no. Just if you simply know how to play the game of Tekken. It's just that simple. The game of Tekken. You could play any character in this roster. If you just know fundamentals. That's it. It doesn't take anything with the character. It's not really your fault that you don't have a main. It's just that you're good at the game of Tekken. That's it. That's it. So anyways, that's pretty much all we have for you. I mean, we'll probably do like another one of these soon or something like that. I mean, this is pretty good because oh. we got some information down and we tried. I one more. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. If you have one more thing, go this ahead. Is an, this is another really important thing because I've seen a lot. I've seen this happen to a lot of new people. If you want to play somebody mm -hmm. like Katarina, who's really fucking easy to play. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, a lot of people are gonna give people are gonna give you shit for it. A lot of assholes. Oh are gonna give you yeah, it's true. Uh, yeah. People, yeah. people, if you've heard, people will be like four, four, four. It's because they're talking about Katarina in season one, where she could use that a lot and get by. Mm -hmm. Just play who you want. Like if so, if some dickhead on the internet that plays like I don't know, fucking, uh, you know, a fucking Mishima elitist is gonna be like, oh, you play an easy character. You're not good. You know, I'm better than you. Don't listen. If you play who you want, it doesn't matter anything because at the end of the day if somebody's trying to talk shit about you because you play a certain character that means there's something wrong with their life mm -hmm. just play who you want to play it doesn't matter if they're easy or not yep the fact that like literally mm -hmm. because i play king and i've talked to kodokor about this she, i was like dude i get so much like messages and stuff she's like oh is it from playing king and surprisingly no it's not it's actually just because i'm a good player but uh i play king and people hate king they hate oh, yeah. him like <laughs> out of all characters, actually we, I would we think, all three go through this because people hate all of our characters. Yep, people hate Haring. Yep. People hate Eliza for no reason, even though she's not good whatsoever, and I don't know why people struggle with her. And me playing King, people think I'm just gonna grab a lot. Like really, yep. no, that's not how it works. <laughs> come on, dude. Yep. And yeah, I know I like grabs, but come on, guys, it's not. Yeah, it's not most characters thing. are gonna have their stick ones. Yeah, like you said, Kings are known because they're grab spammers. I yep. mean, I mean that's what people assume. He's a grappler. He's supposed to be grabbing. Exactly. Uh, yeah. A, lot, a yeah. lot of people will give Huarang shit because he's always attacking, and that's what he's supposed to do. Yep. He's an aggressive character. And then people say my character is gimmicky, you know, Eliza's gimmicky. Yep. Uh, you know, and that's just because people just, people just they don't, don't take the time like to learn. Losing. Don't take the time to learn. Yep. Yeah. Like, this character, like, Eliza, like, it's the best example for people who complain about this character, but then don't know anything about them because they don't take the time to go learn them. I spoke with oh, Eliza yeah. as yeah. well, yes, but I have this man here who plays Eliza who actually sat here with me for a good few sessions and explained a lot of things to me and it opened my eyes that she's a bear, she's a really bad character. And actually my matchup, this matchup is really good for me. So that opened my eyes a lot. So the fact that you can sit there with a friend, if you have to take the time, if a friend plays a certain character that you're struggling with, go to them, ask them questions because they know that character inside and out. Never sit there and complain that the other person or oh, it's their fault whatever it's your fault for not going taking the time to go into practice mode and learn i think now we're getting a bit off track <laughs> no, no i'm just saying i'm just saying because you know this is the thing about picking a main character still like you got to oh, learn yeah. your, you got to learn your stuff mm -hmm. if you don't learn the stuff then you won't be able to make a character because you won't learn your weaknesses you got to know them so we'll, we'll I, keep it at that i think, I, we can I think about the, the main things though just have fun with your character if your characters if you're having fun with the character play them exactly that's, don't that's, don't, don't so let anybody Pick a character for you. Pick your character because you like them. I play Katarina too. Everyone's like, oh, this person. <laughs> Everyone's giving me shit for playing Katarina. I'm like, dude, I'm playing her because I think she's fun. That's why I'm playing her. I'm having fun with her. Yeah. If I'm having fun with her, I'm going to play her. Simple as that. Have I mean, fun with the why game. Would you play, 
Yeah, I was going to say, that's the end of the end of the day. That's what you're playing a video game for, to have fun. Yeah, exactly. Fine. Yeah. Have fun with this game. Uh, that's what I want to do. That's what these guys want to do as well. That's what my whole entire group wants to do. We want to have fun. That's it. So anyway, we'll keep it at that. I thank you guys for joining me in this video. I really appreciate it. And taking the time to explain all these things to these guys because, you know, I know there's some people uh, that are my viewers that really want to get better at this game. And I see you guys progressing a lot. I see you guys come to me with a, a lot of new ranks. And I, I love it when you guys come to me with achievements because it makes me feel better that I, I feel like I did something, you know, when I teach you guys certain things and you guys take it to account and you make it work. So I appreciate all you guys who view my uh, channel and view my videos and really enjoy them. So uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. This video took forever to make, by the way. Yes, it did. Sure did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Lord.